Hi, me again, and welcome to No TV Licence, No Problem, a little mini series I'm making for you guys to let you know how you can watch TV without a licence and what you can watch. Today we're going to take a look at watching Channel 5. So the important thing to remember about watching Channel 5 without a TV licence is you can't watch it live. You need to use their catch-up service called Demand 5. Now you'll find this on your smart TV, on your phone, your tablet, your laptop, whatever. If you need help with devices on what you can find this app on, I'll put a link above to a video I made that'll give you all the information you need. But I've got my little iPad in front of me here, so we're going to download the app and take a look at how it works. So first thing you need to do is head over to the App Store. On my iPad here, it's the Apple App Store. It might be called something different on whatever device you're using, but I'm sure you'll find your App Store. Once on there, bash in My5 into the search box, and you'll find it there. And all you gotta do, click on the little download button, sit back and wait. So once it's downloaded, just head back to your home screen on whatever device you're using, obviously, and boom, there you go. My5 is sitting there waiting for you. So now you've got the app downloaded, let's take a little look at what you can do with it. So I've got a mouse set up on my iPad just so you can see what I'm doing, because you won't see my fingers poking at stuff, obviously, will you? So let's hit the My5 app, and let's see what happens. So here we go, first thing he wants you to do is to get an account. Now, for your account, you don't need to give them your own details, I don't know, do they? And if you don't want to give them your email address, that's perfectly reasonable, I agree. So if you head over to the internet, just type in temp email, and you'll find loads of temporary email servers that you can use, and it just gives you a temporary email address that you can punch in, and you'll receive an email on it for about an hour or so, as long as you don't close the window, and uh, that'll let you confirm the account and everything. So with that done, let's go back to my five. I have an account, so I'm gonna sign in. If I can remember what it is. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you guys this part of it. So here we go, we are in the my five app and I just saw something a bit bloody good there. Go back. No, not that. Back, how do I go back? Ah, good, here we go. Ah, I thought it was the film, The Damn Busters. One of my favorite films of all time. Never mind. Okay. So as you can see here, we're in the app. And the only thing you have to remember when using this app is down the bottom, it says live channels. You can watch the Channel 5 channels live through this app. To do that, you're gonna need a TV license. So as long as you don't press that button, you can use all of this service, watch all the great shows that are on here, all for free, without a TV license, as long as you don't hit that live button. As soon as you hit that, Technically, you need a TV license, okay? So let's take a look at some of the stuff that we can watch. Let's hit Browse, My5 Exclusives. Probably rubbish. Anyway, Film. Now, My5 seems to be a bit Christmas-based on the old movies at the minute. There's bloody Christmas films everywhere on here. I'm not really a Christmas film fan, but there's plenty of movies on there, all for free, that you can watch without a telly license. Kids shows, soaps, sport, what's in sport? World Rally Championship, that's good. Wrestling, NFL if you like that sort of thing. WRC, WWE Smackdown. Documentaries you can watch. So let's pick something. What shall we hit? 10 mistakes that sunk the Titanic, let's click that. Right, so once you're in there, as you can see, that's the button to play it. Just hit that and the thing will play. That adds it to your watch later list. So you can come back and watch it later. Let's see if we can find where our list lives. More, look, my list. So that's in there. And then you can edit that up there to get rid of it or whatever you want to do. So let's go back to it. This little button here, as you can see, it's like a little telly with some lines in it. If you're watching the show, you can hit that and it will send it to your telly as long as you've got compatible telly. So it needs to be Chromecast compatible. So if you've got the new Google TV, it will do it. If you've got an Amazon Fire Stick, you can download an app to make it Chromecast compatible so that you can send stuff to it. And then that means you don't need any extra stuff on your telly. You can just get the show on your iPad here or your phone, whatever you've got, and you can hit that button and it goes boom, and it appears on your telly. And that's pretty much all there is to know about this, really. You can just click through. You can watch all of this stuff without a TV license, everything that's on here. The only thing you can't hit is that live TV channels box. Other than that, you're good to go. And there's some good stuff on here. You know, Channel 5's pretty much all right. You always find some good stuff on Channel 5 sometimes. 
So that's channel five. And if you're a fan of five, you can see you're not really gonna miss anything, are you? In fact, you're probably better off because rather than waiting for it to come on the telly at a certain hour, you can watch whatever you want, whenever you wanna watch it. So put back for another video again soon where I'll cover another one of the streaming services or something else. I don't know what my next video is gonna be yet, but thank you for watching anyway. See you soon.